Hello, I'm here at the Inkscape Hackfest, and I am um, basically asking the contributors to In Inkscape about what they've been up to and how they got into In Inkscape. I'm here with Mark. Hello. Would you like to introduce yourself to everybody? Sure. Uh, some of you already know me. I'm Mark. I'm a research engineer in a university in France called Telecom Paris, and I've been a contributor of Inkscape for probably 10 years now. Yeah. yeah, more maybe more, maybe more, and uh, I do. I'm part of the board of Inkscape. I do development, bug fixing, and lots of organization stuff. Excellent. So, how, how did you get into doing In Inkscape development in the first place? Yeah. Oh, that's a bit of a funny story. I was drawing with Inkscape for an online forum RPG game, so I was drawing some images, and I was hitting sometimes a bug in Inkscape, but like. Uh, displacement when ungrouping stuff whatever and at this time i didn't i was not involved in any open source stuff so i just looked oh inkscape is open source maybe i can fix this let's look at the code and i saw there are hundreds of thousands of lines i have no idea how to approach that <laughs> but i was on the chat and i asked people and they say oh you can probably fix it but they did not, not, not know how to guide me in that but I stayed on the chat and I just answer other people's questions about how to use Inkscape. And after one or two years, when I went into enough discussions around Inkscape, I finally had a glimpse of how the code works. So I, so I thought maybe it's time that I fix it. And at this time, I fixed it. So, so that it was. So it took you a while to get into the community yeah. and, and sort of get familiar. Yeah, especially I'm, with the code. Yeah. Yeah, because I would say our code is very large, and when we get new people in the pro project, we advise them, we, ca we caution them to not be overwhelmed, because it's very easy to have a look at the code base and, and think, um, oh my god, this is so much code. Um, and at the same time, we say, just focus on the thing you want to fix, and then when you need help, ask. Yeah. Um, so, so since since that time, do you think that uh, we have in the project become better at mentoring? And yes, definitely. Because now, if new people come into the project, I feel that there is much more people to answer questions about. Oh, I want. I noticed this. I want to fix this. This is like. I feel like we always have people on the developer channel to answer. Oh, this is probably in this folder or in this file, and this function takes care of this and. Basically, we have much more developer activity in the chat now. Yeah. So, what, what do you work on on Inkscape now? Uh, do you, do you, do you um, have responsibilities inside of the Inkscape project beyond in, on the code? Uh, so, I sometimes do stuff on the code. I also do some code reviews sometimes. Uh, my main responsibility now is in Inkscape are probably in the board and in the organization of the developer uh, group. So I'm part of the Inkscape board, which means that I vote on decisions on basically how the Inkscape project spends its money and how the Inkscape project as a project organizes. So basic, big organizations are spending decisions. And uh, we also organize uh, regular developer meetings just to talk about what developers do and how we can help one another and what needs to be done and what, what needs to be looked at or reviewed or how to do we function better as a development team? Excellent. So do you, do you, do you also uh, look after the Windows builds? Yes. I also build uh, Inkscape for the Windows installers. I do most of the stuff around um, the build system. So making uh, at the same time making releases for some platforms and also how to build Inkscape, making sure that the scripts work, that they, it's easy to build Inkscape and from the code to get a proper binary. Excellent. And, and you also put those into the Windows Store, right? Yeah. Uh, from the Inkscape installers, uh, I try to make stuff into the Windows Store, which sometimes works and recently has was broken but uh, that's another issue yes. if you notice that with the windows store doesn't have the most recent release that's normal and that's kind of my fault but mostly microsoft's fault <laughs> <laughs> they're big enough and rich enough to, to take, yes. take take the blame yes but they their scripts do not work <laughs> <laughs> okay um so wh where do you see yourself in inkscape go going forwards the same mostly the same place as in i don't think I'm completely over in over in like in over my head in the projects. I 
I like some stuff I do in the board uh, stuff, so I can keep on doing that if people still want me in the board. And uh, as for the di different teams, I don't. I think I'm most efficient in the developer team rather than in vectors because I don't know anything about outreach or how to explain, like how to get to people to explain stuff about the project yeah. easily. But in the developer team, I can still like guide people and like answer those questions. Like, oh, how does this work in the code? I kind of know how to answer both of these questions, so yep. that's what I can keep on doing. And um, you're actually uh, kind of special because you're, you're the company that hires you uh, allows you to spend some of your time on on Inkscape. Yeah. So so technically, some of your time is paid by you know yeah, by, definitely by proxy. Yeah, uh, whereas most people are like thoroughly volunteer. You're like a volunteer. Yeah, but, but yeah, yeah. I, I used to be just a volunteer during my, my studies mostly. And now that I'm employed at a public university, I asked my managers if I could spend some time on Thinkscape. And that's kind of on my yearly uh, assignment thing. Your assignment, yeah. yeah. That's, that's really cool because it's basically... Ba it? Even in this Hackfest, I'm here on a company... On, on, on your institution, yeah. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for talking to me. Thank you, Martin. Excellent.